Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Being Software Engineer. My name is Akash. So today in this video, video we are going to learn the difference between map and flat map. So let's start with the uh, discussion then. So uh, what is the map and flat map? So map and flat map both are the methods inside stream class, jar.util.stream.stream class and both have their own usage. So map actually uh, returns the single value and flat map returns the stream of values. So let's understand them one by one and what is the use best use of uh, and where you should use map and where you should use flat map that we'll understand with the example so let's create a package and class here so before going further if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon so that you will never miss an update regarding the newly added videos so let's start the video now okay we'll create a package com.bsc. dot stream and the name of the class is this one map versus flat map and we'll include main method here okay so we have done that okay let's apply map first and we see that we'll see that what how map works and when we should use flat map in case of map okay i already have created some data let's use that data we'll first apply map operation okay let's import it okay it returns list of string okay l string okay let's import this also okay now what we'll do is we will apply map on it so map takes the consumer okay let's use stream and then map what we'll do in map is we'll find out the distinct length of the name so let's say this is name a list of names okay there's a list of names list of string means list of names and we'll find out the distinct uh, names uh, distinct length of names so if there are uh, names with the same character length then that won't be repeated okay let's apply it right now so we'll get string out of it and we'll say on this string we'll say string dot length uh, okay and then we'll apply distinct on it so that we'll get distinct name and then we'll apply for each and we'll print it okay dot out dot sorry we'll use this one here print ln okay so this is a double colon operator <clears throat> so that also I will cover uh, in the later video so you can call any method uh, by using double colon operator uh, like this okay if it has a function interface okay so let's um, you can call it by uh, the class name or the object uh, object value okay we we got the two distinct uh, length of the names from the string so 5 and 3 now these two are the distinct uh, character length in this string uh, list of string so let's um, apply now map on list of list this is a list of string now we will apply the same map on list of list and see what is ha what happens when there is list of list okay so I already have created data let's use that data here okay <clears throat> okay so let's change it to list of list okay and it should be arrays dot as list okay and let's import it okay this is how okay so we have created list of list the list of list of names list of list of names so let's apply the same stream on it and let's see how it works when it when we apply uh, map on list of list or collection of collection okay <coughs> excuse me okay let's apply it on it uh, so we'll say stream dot map okay then we'll get a list of string out of it 
because it is list of list of string str and then we'll say list of str l str okay okay then we'll uh, apply stream on it again because you want to find out the length okay and then we'll apply um, stream and then map on it okay on this list then we'll apply we'll get string out of it then we'll apply the same which is length method of on it on the string okay and we'll we want to find out the distinct length out of this list of list of string okay so we'll apply now distinct okay distinct and then we'll print it by using for each we'll print for every element so we'll use the same system dot out dot print then okay it and let's see what will be the output when we use map on list of list of string so we'll got we got a stream of we got two streams here okay we'll, we got the uh, output as two streams. so what is happening is when we use a uh, operation on this uh, list of list of string that time it applies operation on this first list okay and then find out the length uh, distinct length out of it and then it will applies the operation on this list and then find out the distinct uh, elements distinct length out of this uh, list of names okay okay now let's use the same uh, let's use a flat map on the same list of list of string okay uh, so we'll use this on uh, use a flat map on it so stream dot flat map then we'll get list of list of string here okay str and then on this list of string we'll apply, uh, we will what we'll do is we will uh, apply stream okay and then we'll use map and then out of this map we'll get string and on this string we will check the length we will get get the length and we'll say i want the distinct length out of this and then i will use for each to print it let's okay, click on new line and we'll use the same line from here to print it okay let's uh, let's see what is happening actually so flat map what it does is it converts the complete list of uh, this list and this list into a single list okay and then perform operation on it so it is not in the, when you apply flat map on list of list of string it is no more list of list of string it becomes list of string only okay it converts it into list of string it combines both the list and then perform operation on it okay let's run it and let's see what is what happens okay so you can see we got uh, we got five three four as output from this flat map if we comment it out we can see it better okay let's run it so we got five three four as output so why five three four because four in uh, so there is a four or num in this uh, in this list so it is combining both the list and then getting the out of output out of it so you can see this both the list will be converted to a single list and then you will get the output okay this will be like this when we use a flat map on it it will be like this it will convert the complete list of list of string into this way and then we'll perform operation on it okay so that's all for now guys and if you have any questions please uh, write that in comment box so that i will address them and uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please like this video and please subscribe my channel thank you very much bye bye